Welcome back. It's 444 here on a what is turning out to be an icy morning across the region. That includes on cars and now we're starting to see some ice build up, especially on bridges and overpasses. Winter weather advisory. It has been extended now into the New Orleans Metro. So if you are under the winter weather advisory, you do have that potential to see some slick roads this morning. Once again, especially on bridges and overpasses. That's going to run until 9 a.m. We will see if it needs to be extended further, but for now we'll hold it until 9 a.m. So if you don't have to travel in those locations, you should put it off this morning. In other words, the good news is we are seeing our last batch of frozen precipitation move in. That was sleet, freezing rain, even a little bit of snow. Uh, mixing in as well. It's still coming down up here for parts of the twin spans over towards Slidell in South Mississippi, but we are starting to see the heaviest of it wind down in New Orleans. That doesn't mean it's going to get better though. In fact, things probably are going to continue to get a little bit worse this morning because our temperatures continue to fall. We're at 31 in Kenner, 34 at the lakefront, and 33 in Bell Chase. So that cold, freezing air continues to spill in. And I do think eventually we're going to be in the 20s here across the metro, which means any moisture left over on the roads, that rain overnight, it does have a higher chance of freezing, especially once temperatures get in the 20s. So ice could continue to be a problem, even though nothing is falling anymore for parts of the area. There's still moisture on the roads. And remember, we call it black ice because you cannot see it on the road. It just looks like a glaze there. So just assume there's ice on the roads basically for driving this morning. We've started to watch it wind down in parts of Tangy and Western St. Tammany, but it's still coming down in Slidell. That will wrap up soon as it moves into Mississippi. Still watching for slick spots up here over on the North Shore. We've got slick spots extending through the river parishes with some ice and snow reported down into the Bayou parishes as well. You can see that freezing line is now well past Homa and Thibodeau and it's down now into central and lower Lafouche where you're still getting rain right there along the coast. Temperature wise, wherever you see 20s, that's where road problems are more likely. So up through the river parishes, Bayou parishes in the 20s, Hammond in the 20s, right there along I-12 in the 20s, up into Washington Parish, up into Pearl River County. All of these spots, there could be slick spots basically all over the map. In the metro, we're 31 in Kenner, 31 in New Orleans. I do expect those to continue to drop. And I tell you what, if you didn't get any ice on your car, you probably will at one point. But it is so cold and windy. Wind chills 4 in Macomb, 21 in New Orleans. Feels like 18 in Kenner and 17 in Thibodeau. And we're not going to warm up much. The rest of the morning, temperatures fall. We briefly get above freezing this afternoon with sunshine. That'll help melt anything that we're going to have. So tonight doesn't look like any ice problems. Then it gets very cold tonight on the South Shore. North Shore. You struggle to get out of the freezing temperatures. You may briefly get to like 33, 34, but you do have a lot of sunshine too. So even though it stays cold, the sunshine usually helps evaporate any of that leftover moisture on the ground. Tonight, very cold, a hard pipe freeze. You'll want to drip your faucets tonight. Make sure the pipes are wrapped. We'll be in the teens late tonight on the North Shore. That includes over in South Mississippi. The metro area, we are forecasting that hard freeze in the mid 20s, except right near the lakefront in the upper 20s. And then down in the Bayou Parish, there's a hard pipe bursting freeze from Thibodeau up through Chack Bay, St. James, St. John, and then extending down into central and lower Lafouche and Tarabon. I mean, Cocodri and Chauvin, you have a pipe bursting freeze in the forecast as well. So once again, if you don't have to be out on the roads this morning, it's a good, a good idea not to be. Even though some of the roads are not frozen over at this exact moment, temperatures will continue to fall for the next couple of hours. If your temperature in your car reads the 20s, just assume there is ice all over the place. It's better safe than sorry there. We briefly get above freezing today. We get sunshine tomorrow after our pipe bursting freeze. A little bit of a warm up here. We'll be in the 60s on Thursday and then we do have another freeze in the forecast for the upcoming weekend. In fact, we have another hard freeze for the North Shore, especially Sunday morning. So if you've got the pipes wrapped, keep them wrapped.